Hi, I'm Sarah Blanchard. And I'm Misasha Suzuki Graham. And together, we are the biracial Japanese and white founders of the platform called Dear White Women. And we've got a brand new book and an award-winning podcast, but we're going to back up just a little bit because people usually at this point are like, Dear White Women, what? So. Right. We created this platform because the topic of racism is really personal to us. And because, as Sarah mentioned, we're biracial, we've been in a lot of white female spaces throughout our, throughout our lives. We know what conversations are happening in those spaces, and we also know what conversations are not happening. And when we think about the real inherent power that women have that's largely been undervalued to make a difference, when combined with the privilege that white women have in this country from being white, we knew that this was a group of people that we really wanted to speak to as white women have an immeasurable ability to make change for all of us. And honestly, we've been so fortunate to have this incredible platform to speak together about our history um, and to interview incredible people who share their stories and their perspectives and, and together just each week to continue to learn. But then during the 2020 shutdown, we realized that kind of not everybody is a podcast listener. Guilty. And we both love reading and writing, and Misasha is a lawyer, after all, and she also reads at superhuman speeds, is an expert at revising briefs. And P.S., Sarah is a life coach and facilitator who loves positive psych and the study of what makes humans happier. And so we thought it was time to write a book. But really, if you recall sort of 2020 and homeschooling kids and being afraid of everybody who dared to cough at the supermarket, there was a lot going on. And I was like, really? Like at this time we wanna write a book? Yeah, but my answer was yes, because the fears that I have for my kids are probably the same that white mothers have for their kids with the added layer of this. Every time my black, Japanese and white boys leave our house, I worry that they won't come back simply because of the color of their skin. And that is a devastating fear, but not one that we all share, but it's also one that will end up affecting us all. And if you wanna hear more about the why we go into it a lot more in the book. We really do, but I love it, right? There it was. She's like, we've got to do this to help my kids. And it was time to write the book. And so we really focused on making sure the tone was just sort of how we are. We stand against shaming. We're full of empathy without being overly emotional, um, pretty much chock full of facts and historical perspectives. And most importantly, we work really hard and focused on answering the question, well, what do I do about anti-racism? That practical bit was so important for us so that people can actually start making real change in their daily lives. And so we're so grateful, deeply, deeply grateful that you're here because we need everybody to feel empowered to make positive change for our humanity for the sake of all of our children.